I want to keep a capsule wardrobe, but right now the majority of my clothes do not fit. To be completely honest, my wardrobe is stressing me out right now. I am in a transitional period after having my baby and getting back into my normal body shape and clothing size. My goal is to move out all these items that do not fit and put them in a storage bin, give it a time limit, maybe a year to have the goal to fit back into these clothes. If I do not hit that goal, I will declutter what doesn't fit, embrace my new size and move on. But right now I need to pull all these items out because it's just getting super cluttered and it's causing me frustration when I can't find anything that does fit. I always love to have a second opinion by a trusted friend. My mom is going to swing by and I'm going to try on some of the clothes that do fit and then make a list of all the items that I might need to get me through fall and winter with the goal of a capsule wardrobe full of items that fit well and make me feel good. This should be relatively easy because I know just by a visual reference that most of these items will not fit, but this was one of the things that I tried on last night that I love, but look at how tight it is. <laughs> it's just skin tight. So I know I would not feel comfortable wearing this and this will be one of the items that I will store away until next year. I was hoping that this would fit this winter, but because it's not, I'm not going to get upset about it. I'm just going to deal with this situation. I think we've all been there. Comment below if you've been in this situation where something changes, like having a baby, and you just have to actually make the change. So I'm going to store this away. And I know from history that I don't want to declutter all these clothes right off the bat, even though they're not fitting right now, because with my other two boys that I've had, I did lose the weight eventually. And last thing I want to have to do is buy a whole new wardrobe and get rid of all these things that I really love. I'm just going to pile all the things that I know don't fit over on my bed. Most of the items hanging in here do fit, but a lot of them are summer items. So the things that are super summery or that I ended up not liking, this right off the bat, I can see I bought this right after I had my son and I never liked it. I was kind of in a desperate moment when I bought this, but it's a material that is just kind of uncomfortable. It's very boxy and it's just not my style. And that's why I don't like to shop out of desperation, but sometimes it happens. Summery things that do fit, I'm going to put in a bottom drawer and all the summery things that don't fit, I will put in the box with the winter things that don't fit. So here, I'm just gonna speed this up. I'm pulling out all those summer items that I know they fit, and I just wanna store them away until summer comes around next year. I'm also pulling out things that almost fit, but are looking very tattered and worn, and that I will want to replace. So I'm putting that in a separate pile so I can make a note that I wanna replace this because I like having a light colored sweater. And that's a really good idea is to make sure you take a photo or make a note of it before you get rid of it. Because if you wanna replace it, sometimes you forget and then you go to look for the item that you decluttered that you wanna still have and it's gone. These are maternity stretch pants I kept uh, in case I needed some pants after having the baby. And then we went pretty much straight into warm weather here. So I'm gonna let these go. Here's something I recently purchased because I knew I wanted to replace this sweater, which is looking very tattered and is actually a tad too small. So I'm actually going to declutter this. I'm not gonna save it to fit into it later. And I already have its replacement. This was about a month ago when I purchased this stuff, but I also came across this puffer vest because I knew that this one didn't fit. I was hopeful it would, but it didn't. And so I got this, and this is just for around our house mostly because it gets really cool in our house and I don't like to run the heater constantly. When I look at items in my closet, I always try to envision the item when I was wearing it last. And I had worn this through my pregnancy. I bought it because I just wanted a really large, warm thing to wear through the house. And our house gets really cold, even though we live in Southern California, it's not insulated, it stays freezing in here. Anyhow, I saw myself in a lot of videos in this and pictures, and if you wanna look even bigger than you do, get something like this. The whole goal for me is to try to look more streamlined and put together, and that's not what this is for me. So I am going to 
declutter this because even though it's nice and warm and fuzzy, it just doesn't make me feel good when I'm wearing it. I wanna pause and take one moment to share with you today's sponsor, Upside. Inflation is hitting us hard and I love to save money and that's why I started using Upside. To get started, download the free Upside app in the App Store or Google Play. Use my promo code SHANNONT and get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Next, claim an offer for whatever you're buying on Upside. Check in at the business and pay as usual with a credit card or debit card, and then you get paid. You can earn three times more cash back with Upside. Upside is an incredible app for anyone who buys gas, buys groceries, or dines out which is pretty much everyone. Upside users earn more than a million dollars every week and that's probably why they have a 4.8 star rating on the App Store. Whenever I'm dining out or filling up my tank, I love to use Upside because I get cash back and all I have to do is check in. It is so easy to use. Just download the free Upside app and use code SHANNONT to get $5 or more cash back on your first purchase of $10 or more. Upside isn't too good to be true. I've used it and it works. Upside is a no brainer. What do you plan to do with all your cash back? I am going to use my cash back to buy the much needed items that I need to add to this year's fall and winter wardrobe. I'm just going to hang up the things that I've had forever that do fit. This used to be really, really baggy. Now it fits perfectly. So I'm just going to hang this up on this side and then I will try things on and see how they work together and then write down what I still need. There's another sweater that I had from when I was pregnant, but it's not a maternity sweater and it just fits nice and baggy and would be cute with leggings. These are the two pairs of pants I wore all last winter and spring and I might need one extra pair of pants, but we'll see. I'm gonna try them all on when my mom gets here. These are more of a workout pant, so I'm going to put these in the workout clothes drawer, which all of these shirts and tanks of course fit. I've worn them all summer and spring, and I will probably continue to wear these through the fall on the warmer days. Because of where we live, we have a more mild climate, so I don't have to put all of this stuff away because we do get really warm days throughout fall and winter. Then I have the one dress that on a warm day I'll probably still wear. Here are my piles so far. This is gonna go in the box to be stored away. That on the corner is to be decluttered, and that is gonna be decluttered but needs to be replaced, so I'm gonna make the note. Now it's time to go through the drawers. This is where the bulk of my clothes that do not fit have been. This I've been bothered with because every time I go to open the drawer, I've shoved so many clothes in there because none of them fit. Here are the two bathing suits that actually fit, and then I have a whole drawer of bathing suits that don't fit, so those definitely need to be stored away. I can keep these two out. I love all these clothes, and I just wish they fit, but. <laughs> I know none of them do, so I'm gonna start making the pile. These are actually in pretty worn condition, so I think, I think I'm gonna get rid of these. I think this dress has had its moment. I think I'm going to let this one go. It's really long. I love these bins from Ikea. They just help keep everything really organized. And so my goal here is to really just keep the things that I know I'm gonna to wanna to wear when I do fit back into these clothes, not to keep everything and then open the box and wonder why in the world did I keep this. And I think I'm ready to let this one go. I'm gonna do it, I'm gonna try something on. Even though they did up, they're way tight and I'm not really into being uncomfortable right now. So the good news is knowing that these will fit, I'm not too far off, but I think I'm still gonna put them in the box to store away. No, none of these sweaters are gonna fit. I actually ended up trying this one on last night thinking this was large. This was like the bigger one that I had and it looked, I look like a stuffed sausage in this. I am pulling out things and noticing that I'm either just over them or they're a little balled up. I think I don't wanna store this for a whole year to wait to fit into it just to find out that I don't want it anyways. I'm gonna put these items that are summer that I do wanna keep that fit down here. This I bought at the thrift store Right after I had the baby, I couldn't try them on because, I don't know, they had restrictions or whatever, the dressing room wasn't working, and I picked a size that looked like it would fit, and it didn't. This was a moment of desperation. I was looking for some jeans that would fit, and again, I couldn't find anything that I liked, that was comfortable, that fit, so these were a little too tight, and they still are a little too tight and they're long and once I got home and put them on with my clothes, it just, they looked horrible. And that's really a lesson in buying things 
only that fit in the moment workout clothes then i have swimsuits and swim stuff because you never know when you're gonna swim we do live in southern california or maybe a quick trip to hawaii who knows probably not down here as well here are all the clothes that do not fit and i'm going to put it all in this bin that this actually was a bin of sentimental things that I recently went through. So if you want to check out my members channel, I have it linked below. I did a video on going through the sentimental stuff. I love to reuse bins whenever I can. I love clear bins so I can see what's in them. It just makes it so much easier. And what I'm going to do is put all the summer stuff on the bottom and all the winter stuff on top. So if I do happen to lose some weight, I can easily open this box check what might fit right on top knowing that we're going into fall and winter and i think i'm going to get rid of this swimsuit i actually bought one that fits although it's tight and this is just really worn out so i'm going to get rid of that comment below and let me know if you keep any items that are a goal to uh, get you back in shape or just anything that you might keep that reminds you that you want to have a goal these shorts are something that i bought that I would love to fit back into. I just really love these shorts. I might actually just see if I can find them in a larger size because I just really, they're Levi's. I just liked the way they fit and I'm gonna let this one go. I don't think it's worth saving. I know I didn't wear it a ton, so I'm gonna let that go. Here's a pair of almost sentimental jeans, if that's even a thing. I've had these since before I moved to New Zealand they're the smallest jeans I think I've ever owned and they weren't even fitting before I had Levi, but I was holding on to them in the hopes that they might one day fit again. But I think I'm ready to let them go. There's some wear and tear on them. There's, I mean, cool wear and tear, but I just think I'm over these really hard, non-flexing jeans and I'm gonna let them go. Try to be picky here. I don't wanna store a whole bunch of stuff just to open it up in a year and wonder why I kept any of this. Wow, it's almost all fit, but I don't know if it's going to. I don't think it is. God, I can't believe it. Okay, this is a sign. This is a sign. The fact that this doesn't fit, it's a sign. I'm gonna let it go. Up here is where I store off-season shoes and scarves and things like that. Really half empty up there. So this is the perfect place to now add these clothes. This is really heavy. I need to use my muscles. Here's the winter shoes, and I'm not really ready yet for those. It's still warm here. That is all the clothes that I need to fit into eventually, or might, might not, who knows. Here are my shoes that I am currently using. This is all the clothes I have right now. I just counted everything, and I have 25 items. That's including summer shirts, jackets, so I do need to get a few items. I'm absolutely shocked by how much I have decided to declutter. But that's one thing you can do if you're looking to downsize your wardrobe. This is what I love to do. Hold up an item. Just think, is it what I want to be wearing in this time in my life? Does it fit my life? Does it fit my body? Am I comfortable in it? Does it go with other things? Or is this just taking up space? My mom's here. I'm going to try on the outfits and show you guys and show her and she's going to see what I need to add to it. You're going to write down what we need to add okay. to the wardrobe. I like to shop. One of the pairs of two pairs of pants I have that fit with just a t-shirt that I like, so. I say thumbs up, it's very slimming. It's kind of a mom look. It's a mom, she's a mom, three. <laughs> Next look. She told me to add the new black sweater. Take the pants off and put on a different pair of pants that could go with that also. Okay, dark jeans, and this is the second pair of pants I have, and that's it, that's all I have. Okay, and you put some boots with that, little ankle boots, okay. that'd be cute. The gray long sweater so you like that yeah just get yourself a pair of black pants black jeans write that down black this like could it. be a dress or and it, i would wear it more probably with tight almost like yeah, leggings. leggings yeah so here we have a gold what do you think about this yeah gold i like sweater. it this is just a fun casual hangout Aloha. Aloha. It's <laughs> good. Yes. So maybe I'll look for some like this style. Contrast. I like that with that. That looks nice. Yes. Everything that I can donate, I put into these bags. Now I only have these items that I'm working with in here. And my drawers now are mostly empty. And now I have so much room. It feels great. And I already feel less stressed. I have my list of items I want to buy. We are going to go shopping, which she loves. Okay. Sounds like fun. Thanks Here we for go. joining me. Bye. Bye.